It's a lightweight bout between the prodigy BJ Penn and Vanille Daryush. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners in this division, D.C., and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive jiu-jitsu, defensive jiu-jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the jiu-jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so unbelievable. truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of your Melinda, California, USA, Benil Daryush. And now, here's his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 16 wins, 14 losses, and two draws. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Wanaku, Hilo, Hawaii. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC lightweight champion. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. So Eve Levine draws the lightweight assignment here. All right, folks, round one is underway. Good to have you with us tonight. This could be a very technical fight, and if you are someone who likes the jiu-jitsu game, this is not a fight you want to miss. We've got a different audience tonight. Yeah. Because when this one was announced, the whole entire jiu-jitsu world took notice. They said, wow, we get to watch these two fighters compete in the UFC. It's something we've wanted for years. Just has to happen in the octagon. It did not happen in a jiu-jitsu competition, but they're more than happy to tune in and watch this great fight. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round early in this. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, big elbow. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Dojic. Fighters back to their feet here. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, uppercut land. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Now we're going. Another beautiful takedown land. Penn gets back up again. Nicely done. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. you got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your opponent. All right, so 
So a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Oh, big punch land. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Darius just hits on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Kate Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has the corner hurt very bad. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Blocks the shot. Pretty good right hand. Massive knee lands from the tight end. And they separate. Round two is next. All right, well, that's the end of the round. So the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You got to think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs Ready? to continue to do this Ready? as the fight goes on. There's no tell on that leg. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ben's head kick attempt. That one is blocked. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Straight punch lands. Goes to the uppercut and he lands to the head. He lands a beautiful uppercut right as he comes in close. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Oh, nice job by him there to get the takedown. I would think that gets the Olympian's stamp of approval. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What a fantastic job of getting the takedown when you need it. Nice leg kick. Oh, well, you know about his kicks. They are on point this evening. Darius has got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Big punch land. Ooh. Darius gets the take down there. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Take him down, cover, take him down, cover. Over and over, he secures his takedown. Well, missed on that one. Right on the button. Clinch position, the underhook is gonna be very important. Whoever controls the underhook is in control of this position. Oh, oh, Absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 56 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Parade and